Today I'm going to show you guys how you should be doing a pre-trip on a school bus with hydraulic brakes. First things first, you go around, you enter the bus. You're checking your step well tread, make sure it's in good condition, make sure nobody's going to trip and fall. You also want to make sure your handrails are secured and in good condition. And then you slide this to the normal position. Then you come over here, you put your key in, turn it to accessory mode. Close your door if you want. And then you come up here, you grab your zonar wand. All right, once you're logged in there, go ahead and select pre-trip. And then you want to start with this yellow tag here. Once you do that, enter the current mileage shown on the odometer. And if it's already correct, just go ahead and press enter. Then scan this tag here. That's your entering bus tag. You want to check for your first aid kit body fluid cleanup kit, fire extinguisher, warning triangles, registration and insurance information is up here. Then you want to check your bulkhead, your bulkhead lettering, child checkmate speaker, theft mate sensor, and then EP2 device is in that box right there. Cameras, you want to make sure that they're all in working order, they're not cracked, broken, or missing. We have three cameras inside this bus. The DVR is in the back, more on that later. So then, want to make sure that's not too floppy. And then, that's in good condition. It's not cut, torn, or missing. You want to make sure you also have a seat belt cutter. Grab the steering wheel, check it for excessive play. Honk the horn, make sure it works. Make sure this window opens freely. And this one. And then you also want to check your items mounted under the bulkhead. Make sure they're secured and none of them are cracked, broken, or missing. There are your defroster fans, your kitty mirror, and then your sun visor. All right, we're pretty much good to go here. So go ahead and press OK. Then you want to scan your switch panel. So driver's seat area, start with your heaters. So that's a step well heater, rear heater, midship heater, driver's dome, and then dome lights inside the rest of the bus. Those are all working, good condition. Check your eight ways, switch it on amber, look in your cross view mirror, make sure they're working, turn it back off, turn it back on. What you're checking here is that the master switch cancels your eight ways in case you need to. Then you come over here and open your door. Child checkmate is now activated. And as you could hear, that should activate your child checkmate and your red eight ways should turn on. Then you wanna go over here, cancel that. Lights should turn off, turn it back on, close the door. And then turn off the master. Noise kill. Just turn a few switches on, make sure it does its job properly. Turn it back off and then turn whatever you turned on off. Lift switch, if equipped, and then heater pump. Mirror heat is one of those switches where you have to have the ignition on, so we'll test that one later, but for right now, it's not gonna do anything. Defroster fans, AC is another one of those switches that has to have the ignition on to work. PA system and then strobe light. All right, 
go ahead and press OK. Now we're going to go ahead and move to the back of the bus. I'm going to bang on the back of each seat and make sure none of them are loose. There's the DVR for the cameras back there. Make sure the light on the child checkmate reset button lights up. Then you want to go over uh, next to it, scan the tag, and then start checking your emergency exits. So this one's working. Broom's in good condition. And then this bus does have a wheelchair lift. More on that later. So then, as you're coming back to the front of the bus, go ahead and give that three bangs. Do not open it, but you can open the emergency exit windows. Make sure they open and close properly. If they're hard to close, just see the workshop. Alright, that's pretty much good. Go ahead and press OK. So now, we're going to go ahead and turn on the ignition. We're not going to start the engine yet. We're going to go ahead and check a few more of those switches and then check the lights outside. So, mirror heat, that's coming on. AC. That's working. All right, I'm gonna open the door and then press the light test button. I'm gonna go outside, scan this first tag here. We're gonna check our tire, slap it a few times, make sure it's got air, make sure it's got good tread, at least 430 seconds in the front and the tire cannot be retreaded or regrooved. Check your leaf springs, make sure they're not cracked. Check your brakes, make sure they're not overly worn. Check your wheel, make sure it's not corroded, dented, or welded. And then check your lug nuts, make sure there's no signs of rust. If there are, they're probably loose. And then check your hub seal, make sure it's not leaking. I'm going to go ahead and unlatch this side of the hood. You also want to check your lights as you're moving around the bus. Then you want to push against your crossing gate, make sure it's doing its job properly. So now I'm at the front of the bus, I'm checking the lights. Check your eight ways, clearance lights, low beams, high beams, turn signals, parking lights. And then you also want to make sure that your cross views are secured. Speaking of which, go ahead and make sure your mirrors are secured as well. I'm gonna go ahead and scan this tag. And since I see that all the lights are working, I'm gonna go ahead and press okay. You wanna make sure your front license plate matches the rear license plate as well as the insurance information. Check this cross view and then these mirrors. Check the bulbs on the side. Unlatch the hood. This tire, just bang on it a few times. Make sure the tread is adequate. At least four 30 seconds once again. Cannot be retreaded or regrooved. Make sure the leaf springs are not cracked. Make sure your wheel is not corroded, dented, or welded. Make sure your brakes aren't overly worn. Make sure your lug nuts are not showing any signs of rust. If they are, then they're loose. 
and then make sure your hub seal is not leaking. So now we're gonna go ahead and open the hood. And then under the hood, we're gonna check the coolant, make sure it's at an adequate level. Make sure our wiper fluid is at an adequate level. You wanna check your air filter, hoses, wiring, your belts, alternator, engine, intake, and then your thermal fan and your radiator. You also wanna check and make sure the frame is in good condition. It's not cracked or overly rusted. Move on over to this side. It is a hydraulic brake bus, so you wanna check your hydraulic brake fluid and your power steering fluid. If for some reason you can't see the level of either of these, go ahead and turn on your Zonar flashlight. And if that doesn't work, use a flashlight of your own. But you gotta be able to see the level somehow. Here we have the ECU, and then you also wanna check your wiring and hoses on this side. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close the hood back up. And then, don't forget, latch it back into place on both sides. You also want to check underneath for any possible fluid leaks. All right, moving along. Push against your crossing or your stop arms. Make sure the lights are working and make sure that they're coming out properly. And then as you're moving along the side of the bus, you want to check your lettering, numbering, check your clearance lights. And you also want to make sure that none of the windows are cracked, broken or missing. Then you want to come back here, scan the, scan the tag. We have two tires in the back. So you want to check your air suspension if equipped. Make sure the airbag's in good condition. Check your leaf springs. You also want to check underneath the bus for your tailpipe and your muffler system. In this case, we have a DPF and an SCR catalyst combined into one muffler. On older buses, it may be that your DPF is in the front and then you have your SCR catalyst behind your DPF. You also want to check your frame, make sure it's not overly rusty. And if you have air tanks on your bus, check and make sure those are in good condition. And you check your air dryer and whatnot. So in this case, the tires have air, good tread. Now, these tires can be retreaded and can go down all the way to 230 seconds. You wanna check the condition of your tires. This applies to both front and rear tires. Make sure they're not overly cracked. Make sure there's no cuts, tears. They're not cracked, broken, or missing. Check the wheels, check the lug nuts, axle seal this time, and then your brakes. Make sure all are in good condition, not overly rusty, Nothing's corroded, dented, welded, cracked, broken, or missing. All right. Since this bus has a rear stop arm, I'm gonna go ahead and do what I did with the front one. Check and make sure that it's out properly and resists any wind or motions to put it back in. All the lights on the stop arms work properly and they alternate as intended. So now, I'm at the back of the bus, I'm checking the rear lighting, all of it's working, so I'm gonna go ahead and scan the tag. Press OK. And then you also wanna check your license plate lighting. Speaking of license plates, the license plate shown is the same as what it is on the front and the insurance information inside the bus. Check your school bus sign, your numbering, and make sure the windows are not cracked, broken, or missing. 
Then, since this has a wheelchair door, I'll check that in a bit, but you wanna open it up, make sure it opens freely. On this side, check the lettering, numbering, and then your windows, make sure none of them are cracked, broken, or missing. Check your clearance lights like you did on the other side and your side marker lights. And then if you have reflectors, make sure those are present and the correct color. Go ahead and scan this tag. You're once again checking your tires for good condition. Make sure they have at least 230 seconds and they can be retreaded and or regrooved. Check your airbags if equipped. Make sure they're in good condition. Leaf springs. Check your wheel, lug nuts, axle seal, and your brakes. Make sure your brakes are not overly worn. Make sure your wheel is not cracked, dented, or welded. Make sure your lug nuts are not showing any signs of rust. If they are, then there's a leak. And make sure your axle seal is not leaking. All right. Going back inside the bus, you want to check the light on the step well. I'm going to go ahead and cancel the light test and then turn off the ignition. We're going to check the child checkmate. If the horn honks, it's working properly. So then what you want to go ahead and do is go to the back of the bus and press the button. Now comes the part where we check the brakes. Scan this last tag here. It's usually right underneath where the gear shifter is. Now we're gonna perform a safe start, but before we do that, we're gonna make sure the neutral safety switch is working. So go ahead, take the gear shifter, make sure it moves smoothly through all the gears, and then pick a gear, make sure it does not start in gear. Your bus should only start in park, if so equipped or neutral. Go ahead and turn the key to run. Put your foot on the brake. And then make sure you turn the key to start. Make sure it does not start in gear. All right, so now we're gonna perform a safe start. What you need to do is, first you wanna make sure your parking brake is fully applied. Now, in our wheelchair buses, we have an air parking brake, but in our non-wheelchair buses, the parking brake's down there on the, on the floor, so you would push it in with your foot. And then you have a release button right here that you push to release. If that's the case, just push it all the way down, make sure it's all the way down to the floor, fully applied. Then you wanna come over here to your gear shifter, make sure it's in park, if so equipped, otherwise neutral. And in this case, we don't have park, so we put it in neutral. Then you wanna turn your key to the run position. Do not start it yet. Check your gauges. Make sure your ABS light goes off. Same with your wait to start light. Do not attempt to start the bus while the wait to start light is on. Let it go through its self test and then start the bus. So in this case, the wait to start light is off. So now what you wanna do is put your foot on the brake and then start your bus. You wanna listen for any unusual noises you might hear. And if you, if you hear anything unusual, just go to the workshop and they'll tell you if the bus is safe to drive or not. So right now, I'm gonna test my light switch in both parking lights and headlights on. And because it's a school bus, we always run with the headlights on when you're driving. Check your high beams. Now we already checked these during the light test, but the purpose of this is to make sure they come on when you turn them on. Flash to pass, left turn signal, right turn signal, hazard lights. Put it in reverse, check your reverse alarm. So now what you wanna do 
to check your brakes on a hydraulic brake bus, come down here, pump the brake pedal three times, and then on the third one, hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure the pedal does not move. If the pedal moves, you've got a leak. Or if the pedal sinks down, you've got a leak. If the pedal springs back, you've got air in the hydraulic brake system. So now what you wanna do is check your parking brake. Once again, make sure it's fully applied. Then shift into low gear and then give it throttle about 1200 RPMs for 10 seconds and make sure the parking brake holds the bus. The bus should not move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then go ahead and release your parking brake and then pull forward two times. You want to check your service brakes. So get it up to five miles per hour and then stop. All right, that concludes the pre-trip portion of a hydraulic brake school bus. So then, if you're ready to drive, keep driving. Otherwise, secure your bus by first setting the parking brake fully and then selecting park, if so equipped, or neutral. So then when you're done with this, press OK and then certify that the report is accurate and correct. And then, don't forget, put your Zonar in the holster, make sure it snaps in place, and it downloads the report. Once this light turns red, the report is downloading and sending. All right. And lastly, because this is a wheelchair bus, we're gonna check the wheelchair lift. So parking brake on, neutral, turn on the lift switch. It will not work if that's not on. Then go ahead and go outside. And to the back of the bus, and then you want to open up the door, just open the latch, open her up, take this hook, latch it to the side of the bus. Then you want to take your switch here, or excuse me, your control panel. You want to make sure the lift power is on. On some buses, it may be a switch on the remote. So now you want to unfold it. And then go down. And just keep holding until that's fully out. All right, it's done. Then if you have a buckle around the wheelchair lift, you wanna unbuckle that and then try pushing these buttons. They should do nothing, it's an interlock. But in this case, we don't have that, so we're gonna fold it back up. Make sure the lights on the wheelchair lift are working and then hold it away. So then go ahead and put the remote away, turn off the lift power when you're done and then unhook the wheelchair lift security measure and close the door. And that concludes the pre-trip on a hydraulic brake bus with a wheelchair lift.
Hope you guys enjoyed. All right, so a couple things I wanted to point out before I end this video for real. You wanna check your wipers. I forgot to check that. So check them on low and high and then spray your fluid. Make sure that's working. And then as far as the gauges go, you wanna make sure your idle is anywhere from 700 to 800 RPMs. That is a normal operating range for idling. And then you also wanna make sure your speedometer shows zero when you're parked. And then as far as your temperature goes, you wanna make sure it's not much higher than 200. Operating range is 185 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's higher than that, radio it in. If, at, if for any reason your air pressure dips below 105 PSI and the governor does not kick on to rebuild that pressure, call it in. You also want to make sure you have at least a half a tank of diesel in the summer, three quarters in the winter. And then if you have DEF, you want to make sure you have at least 25%. If the last light shown is not green, if it's yellow or red, do not drive the bus. Go straight to the workshop. Have them top off the DEF. And then lastly, you wanna make sure you don't drive with the empty sign up. So take that off when you get in the bus and put it back on when you're done searching for sleeping students at the end of your route. Or when you're back at the barn, you put that up, but you obviously wanna search for sleeping students at the end of each route and when you're back at the barn. And then you wanna make sure that your mileage shown does not exceed the mileage on the safety sticker in addition, you want to make sure you have a safety sticker and that the date shown does not exceed the current calendar month. In this case, it's April. It's not due until August. All right, now before this video ends, I just want to make it perfectly clear that on a hydraulic brake bus, your pre-trip should be no less than six minutes. Or in the case of a wheelchair bus, you would add two minutes. So a hydraulic brake bus with a wheelchair lift, which this one is, should have a pre-trip of no less than eight minutes. Also, in the event your Zonar does not work, there is a paper pre-trip booklet. What you would wanna do is open that up, find the first blank page, and then just check the boxes as you move along with your pre-trip. Or you can do it after your pre-trip, whatever the choice, it has to be documented somehow. Now, in the event that that does happen, what you want to do is call it into dispatch, let them know you're doing a paper pre-trip because your zonar is not functioning. In addition, what you want to do is call in any student searches because if your zonar is still not working, you can't log student searches. They need to know that you're doing your job properly. And last but certainly not least, if you have any problems with your bus at all, Take it to the workshop at your earliest convenience, allow the technicians to assess what's going on, and then they will provide you with further instructions, whether it is to park the bus or leave the bus with the keys in the ignition so that they can investigate further, because it may be that certain problems will take hours, if not days, in which case your bus might be down and you might be in a different bus. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you understand what you should be doing when pre-tripping a bus that has hydraulic brakes.